Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sol. So for today's video, I decided to do a little makeup haul with all the new makeup I've purchased. Um, there have been a lot of launches this summer and I got the opportunity to get my hands in a few of them. So if you want to see all the makeup I've gotten and if you want to see a couple swatches, then keep on watching. Hey guys, so the first thing I want to get into is the Kylie Collection, or the Kylie Cosmetics Summer Collection. Um, these are the Ultra Glow, whoa, whoa. these are the Ultra Glow Highlighters. They are powder, or loose powder highlighters. These are the only things I was able to get my hands on from that launch. So, they are supposed to be very, very blinding. I like the packaging, it's like a camo what like golden dots type of packaging it has a certain texture to it and then when you take it out here is the um curtain for the ultra glow so let's see okay so when you open it it's sealed i have not opened or tried these yet i am going to do a first impressions video with these um and try them on once i have a full face of makeup on but as you can see it comes in like a little container and the container has little holes and you can you have the glow right there I don't know if you can see it on my finger it's a pretty good glow so for this I was able to get all three colors which are Santorini Fiji and Tahiti very tropical vacation makes me want to get on a plane right now and go to an unknown destination. Now the next item that I got was the KKW Beauty Contour Kit. Um, it does come in a bag like this and then it does come in a seal package but I have opened it already. I did make a mini tutorial with these um, and this is the look I have on right now. This is kind of have been my go-to look for the summer. It is extremely, extremely hot here in California, and I know that it's hot everywhere, but it's been crazy out here, so I have not been in the mood, mood to wear foundation every day or heavy, heavy makeup. So what I've been doing is using contour sticks. I just got these, so I just used these for the first time, but I usually use my NYX con contour stick and just kind of contour my face really quickly, do a little bit of highlight, do very light brows and not even put eyeshadow um, hair out on my eye or on my lashes and i'm really liking how this look is coming out and it's turning out to be um lately so if you see a lot of my pictures you'll see something like this and if you want me to do an in-depth tutorial for my youtube channel then i can also do that for you guys with the kkw beauty uh, collection you get with each kit, you get two contour sticks. So you get one dark contour stick and one light contour stick. And then you get this little tool to kind of mix it in. Um, the brush is very soft. The sponge is kind of hard if you're used to um, the Beauty Blender or Royal Techniques. It is harder. Um, it reminds me honestly of the sponges that I got on like the really cheap like Marshalls or TJ Maxx. But as for the sticks, this is the light. So this is the um, highlight of the palette. So here you can see, very pretty highlight, very subtle. Obviously Kim Kardashian is known for like her subtle face makeup. She doesn't really do full glam. It's more of like a smoky eye, subtle face makeup. And this is the matte highlight right there and then for the dark contour here is I believe this is a darker shade so for the dark one you get two shades you get a lighter um, brown and then a darker brown and this is the light one so what I did is that I used the light one to contour my nose and then I use the dark one to contour my face so that it gives me kind of like a bronzed out look. 
Uh, but I really like these um, so far. They're very creamy. They blend out really easily. They're very seamless on the skin alone without foundation. I will definitely have to try them with foundation. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys what they look like. And I did purchase the dark kit. It comes in light, medium I believe, dark, and deep dark. So here they are and I know they're sold out right now but I'm pretty sure she's going to restock soon so keep an eye out for them the next item guys I'm so so excited about this is the Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette there you go and oh my god guys I was up so early trying to get this palette it's not even a joke because look at this beauty the colors are so pretty and what I really like, and I don't know if everybody has noticed, is that most of the metallics have its matte color. So it's very easy to create a lot of looks with this palette. And I just want to show you right now. I'm going to do the blue because I've done the green a million times. But look at that. Let's do the purple. Like the colors are so creamy, so much pigmentation. Here's a matte color. It's almost my skin tone so you can't see it. Let's do another. That's a matte shadow. Like look at how pigmented that is. I love, love, love this palette. I cannot wait to use it. This is gonna be my go-to palette for everything because it literally has every single color you will need to create a thousand eye looks like you have your black you have your brown you have your neutrals you have pops of color you have greens for the summer you have dark colors for the winter so this is gonna be my go-to palette for now on or from now on um, until something better comes out but I don't know we'll see I got my first PR package and I am so excited so this is from color wow they are a hair company that specializes on colored hair um, they do have lots of treatments they also have like root fillers and on the box they sent me a coconut cocktail so this is basically to moisturize your hair um, it gives it silkness. I have not used it yet, but I'm very excited to use this. I love anything that's coconut for my hair. As you guys know, um, if you have dry hair, coconut is very, very moisturizing. So anything coconut, I'm putting in my hair right away. They also sent me a shampoo and conditioner for um, color hair. Um, I don't color my hair anymore. This is there's still I think a little bit of black dye from the last time I dyed it but that was a year ago or a little over a year ago so I doubt that you know it'll be colored anytime soon but I feel like this is gonna be very good if I ever decide to color my hair I will definitely give this a try then it also came with a one minute transformation cream this is like a leave-in conditioner so you put this right before you blow dry your hair this is kind of like a um locket spray it's, it's almost like a mousse but you would apply this like right after you're done styling your hair so that it locks in place and it doesn't get um it's very very jelly like it doesn't get frizzy or anything like that and then the product that i'm most excited about is the root filler i'm sure some of you guys have seen this i know i have seen this before but basically you can use the little powder to fill in your roots. I personally use it to fill in any bald spots. I did not like the hairline that God gave me so I create a new one for myself every time I pull my hair back. So this is what I use. You just take the little brush. Sorry, I have awful sense of direction when I'm filming. You take the little brush and look at the color payoff on that. The first time I did it, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know it gave you that much color and it's kind of like, it doesn't even look like a powder once you apply it. It almost, look like, it almost looks like a paint or a dye. 
So I had to learn the hard way that you, a little bit goes a long way. So you don't have to dip the brush so much, which is a good thing. You don't want to have to use too much product to get the results you want. So I've been using this every time I put my hair up, I have a ponytail or I braid my hair and I have little bald spots here and there this is what I've been using to fill in my hair and of course I will link every product down below so if you guys are interested in getting this um, you can definitely do that because I was, I've always used eyeshadows until they sent me this and now I cannot take my hands off of this another product I got was the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Summer Chrome Collection I did get the one that comes with all of the velour liquid lipsticks. Here you go. There's eight of them. And they, the packaging, guys, is stunning. Like, I love, this is a very good box. Like, I can reuse this box to store things. It's not gimmicky. It's not plasticky. It has a magnetic strip right here. And all the eight lipsticks are very, very fun shades that I will swatch on another video. Um, this did retail for about $100, but I think it's a really good deal because each uh, liquid lip, I think it's about $18 or $20. So you do get a discount by buying all eight of them. And he also has a um, another like lip vault, I think he called it. Um, and that one brings all eight shades of the liquid lips and it also brings um, the shades of lip ammo, which are his cream lipsticks. So I am very excited to try these and wear them in tutorials and use them just on the daily. I love his formula. I love that it's not drying. It's still, your lips still feel moist and his colors are always so nice. Um, so yeah. Okay guys, so that is it for this makeup haul. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I am very, very excited to film all these new tutorials with all this new makeup that I got. So if you want to see any particular tutorial, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And I will see you guys on my next video.